Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the newer Star Wars Lego sets. This one is the Darth Vader Meditation Chamber. It is from the 18 plus line, the kind of unofficial adult Star Wars line that they have. Um, with this nice fancy, more of a collector based box with the dark, um, doesn't really show play features necessarily, a little bit more um, simplistic and whatnot, but it is set 75296 seven, with 663 pieces and retails for $70. On the back of the box, basically all we get is another view of the play set, well, the display piece itself, as well as a couple of scenes from the movie. So it's not really showing off mini figures that you can get, it's not really showing off play features, though there are some neat neat ones in this. So uh, pretty interesting. I really like this line. They're very display-based rather than play-based, and I like that because I obviously display my Legos. Taking a look at the set here, you can tell automatically that, I mean, at least in my opinion, it's really, really nice. This is actually a set I was excited for upon its uh, picture release. I thought it looked pretty good, um, and I was really excited to have something so scene-oriented uh, that I thought it would just look really, really nice on display. And I, I really like the base as well um, that helps add to that. So we have some like nice chrome grating on the sides that helps break up the black. Uh, we have a little peg to hide Darth Vader's lightsaber, which I have right there. Um, and, and just some nice, really sleek steps, very studless, um, which is a, a kind of a, maybe more of like a display um, display oriented uh detailing which is really nice and you get a plaque which comes on more again of the statuesque or uh higher price sets so again really really cool i really hope they make more of these i think that would be so so neat um but i really like it it's very reflective black it's gonna collect dust really bad and obviously it is of darth vader's meditation chamber which you can see pretty well here um just within the, the initial shot um it does come with two minifigures however the set itself i feel like is the highlight this time first up we have admiral piet right here um i believe his ranking is correct looking nice new face um looking very good as an officer um, unfortunately, no dual molded feet to show the black boots. That's the only inaccuracy that this minifigure has. And he does come with a blaster. I just guess they need to feel like they have to include an accessory for every minifigure, but you don't really need it. Uh, pretty nice figure though. I think it looks very, very good. I've always really been a big fan of the Imperial hats, which it just went out of focus. Sorry about that. There we go. Secondarily, we have Darth Vader, who looks really nice. His big bonus is his printed arms, um, which came in only two two sets before in 2020, the uh, final dual set, and um, it was the really small um, Bespin duel where that's like super limited and very expensive. So it's really nice to be able to get another Darth Vader with a nice arm printing because it makes it perfect. This Darth Vader is pretty much as good as it can get. I can't imagine how they'd ever update this Darth Vader to be better, to be honest. Um, unless, of course, maybe they make a difference between the A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader if they ever like, I don't, I haven't ever noticed if the minifigures have done that, but that would be just the only other thing I could think of. But his head is pretty cool, nice. We've seen it before with the scarring, but always nice to get another Darth Vader. Very, very cool. So those are your two minifigures there um, that come with this set. Taking a closer look on kind of what is inside the set here, you can see these stickered pieces to be this kind of like control panel around Darth Vader's chair. And Darth Vader's chair himself is very low backed and round and it can spin all the way around, which I'll demonstrate. There's a place for his butt right there. And then of course the really big um, cool part that you get, which I'll try to show you. It is a little bit difficult to see through camera, but you have this really awesome screen um, of what we see in Empire Strikes Back. And the way it's made is really cool. The sticker's actually on um, this back door piece, and then they put a blue screen in front of it to kind of give it that hollow look. And it looks really convincing in my opinion. I think it's very, very cool. I also really do like the way they designed the white on the inside of the chamber. Um, as this is, has to be a sterile environment, it's the only place Darth Vader can really take off his helmet. Um, and so super, duper cool in my opinion. I like the white with the black outside. It gives just quite a look. Um, it's super, super neat. And the only time we've gotten a meditation chamber similar was in Darth Vader's castle. It was a very, very, very small version. And obviously this is one that takes place, you know, not at Darth Vader's castle. It's in his Star Destroyer. Um, but basically you can kind of articulate these little arms here um, to do what you want. There we are again. You can articulate the arms because you can actually totally enclose this little section here. Um, I also do want to note, I really like the red up top too. So basically it's controlled by this arm and all you do is this ball uh, joint hinge, whatever falls into these holes um, all down the line. So you can put it at different degrees. So you can have it semi-lowered like that. And then you could have it, you kind of got to 
lift it, there you go. You can have it like that, or then you could have it all the way closed. And it is a little bit finicky. I mean, it is definitely not a foolproof design. The arms are so, um, there we go. There we go. So it's not the most um, intuitive in terms of like getting it down and up. You do have to manage it as it goes down, but it looks actually kind of neat closed. I mean, there's definitely a lot of holes, but you get the idea. I wouldn't personally display it this way, but I do like that it can close. Um, it's just really swingy, uh, very loose, and that's just the construction of the build. So you have to get kind of guide it down like that um, to get it to close, but you can display it at different levels if you'd like. Um, if you want to have that scene where Darth Vader has his helmet off and let's see if I can get in here. Darth Vader is relatively easy to place in. Um, you're just going to be kind of wiggling and moving to get him in a bit. If you kind of want to have that scene where you can like see Darth Vader with his helmet, like right as it's being taken off, um, you can kind of do that if you'd like. Um, one other thing I wanted to note with inside this, this is supposed to be the mechanism that holds Darth Vader's helmet. I really wish that they had been able to make that work. It's just a, it's just a display piece. It can't actually hold his helmet. I was kind of disappointed actually because when they made Darth Vader's transformation, they gave him a way for you to remove and put on his helmet. And I thought they'd do probably the same thing here. And they really didn't. So I was kind of disappointed by that. Um, it's not a huge deal because I'm not going to use it as a play feature. And maybe that's why they decided against adding in those mechanisms. But um, nonetheless, I would have been really nice to see. And so keeping it fully displayed up here again, as I mentioned before, you can put Darth Vader in here with a little bit of effort. It is not the smoothest transaction in my opinion, but he can be sitting in there so you can see him and his chair can spin all the way around so he can be watching his hall, his screen here. And then he can turn around and talk to Admiral Piet here. And there's one single stud here for the officer. Uh, which is kind of funny and he could be talking just like that which is basically how you want to display it the only thing i wish they had done is i wish they had included a clip for the little blaster because there's no sense in really him having it in this scene um, but i really think it displays super nice um it, it's really really cool and that screen on the back is probably like one of the best star wars stickers it's just a cool set my husband like did not understand why i liked this so much and i just I appreciate the, the no studs on top, like the, the smooth look to it, the stairs, just the detail that they put in to kind of make it more minifigure scale is really, really cool. Um, and it's a unique scene. It's one that they'd never make into a play set ordinarily, but they have because this is for adults. And so I, I really like it for that aspect. And I do like that this thing can close, even though it is not the most intuitive, I, they, they got it pretty good. Now, if only there could be a way to kind of hide this arm, <laughs> But really cool. I think it displays nicely. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below with this set. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.